Hi, it's Robbie from Southern California, rainy Southern California. I'm going to do an update because some of you have messaged and asked about the hummingbirds. The hummingbirds are actually fine. As you can see, they're feeding. I don't have as many feeders out because I don't want to leave that many feeders in the rain. I try to hug the house as much as I can and have them under shelter. Now, out here, I have to keep everything covered. Water's coming in everywhere. They do like their feeders out there, and I keep filling them. Now, what I do is I'm not filling them to the top. I know you can't really see much because I've got to keep them in those clothes. It's driving rain. It's literally blowing into everything, and it's freezing. When I say freezing, for us, it's cold if it's like 40, 45 degrees, and it's cold, wet rain, <laughs> really cold. My hands are like ice. I've been in and out putting feeders up. Now, the reason I have to put feeders outside there are some hummingbirds that don't want to come to the window. They're just shy and they want to go out like they forage in the garden. I mean, there are still flowers out on the orange trees back there and everything, and they prefer their feeder out. The only problem is, as the water gets in there, it thins it, they won't drink it. So I kind of fill them up a quarter to halfway, and then this way they can still get what they need, and then as it dilutes, in about an hour, I'll go out there. I will take it in and refill it, wash it out and refill it. I did try to put one out with a plate on top because I do that a lot in the summer. It gives them a little extra shade or a light rain. It will draw, you know, keep the rain from going straight into the feeder. But what happened was it was blowing around so much because the wind is blowing really hard and it was just shaking that plate around that it caused the other hummingbirds not to want to use the feeder next to it so I had to go back outside and get it it's literally been pouring we had hail yesterday thunder and lightning so close together it was literally on top of the house it was that loud it was going at night it was going during the day so it's been a real ordeal here I just worry about the animals and the birds no oh, the dogs are fine but I mean you know the outside animals as far as cold, as long as the hummingbird feeders do not freeze, it's really blowing. As long as they don't freeze, they're fine. They're designed birds to have water on them. So the water will roll right off of them. They are a little upset because there's not as many feeders out there as usual. But I'm trying to keep the, you know, like some of these that are in the rain, trying to keep them under the shelter. So I may have to put them back anyways because they come for their feeder and it's not there. These do have food in them, even though it looks like there's no food, it's on the bottom. But like I said, I'm here and I'm constantly putting food up uh, into all of these. And I've got them in the dots because they still want their dots. But they're feeding everywhere that they can. And like I said, water is not the issue. Even cold isn't the issue. Hummingbirds and a lot of animals are well adapted to weather. They're not like us. You know, we want to stay in a house that's heated. We don't have a heater. Our heater broke. But we have we have heat blankets for the dogs. And plus, we have rooms that they could go in that has a, a heater, a little floor heater in there. But for animals that are outside, they're used to this. I mean, this is nature. Temperature changes. And as long as it's not too aggressively of a change, like let's say we're not in the 20s, that's when you end up with a lot of problems. You know, then you have an issue. Here, we do drop down into the 40s and 30s. The main thing for hummingbirds is they have to have food. As long as they have food, well, then they should be okay because again, they have to keep themselves well-fueled. They will feed all day. How many insects they're getting out there, I don't know, but they'll be looking for whatever they can find. And then in the evening, they'll go into their torpid state They'll go deep asleep, and I have found that they don't have to get up at the crack of dawn. They actually can wait until the sun is out, if there is going to be sun, and wake even as late as like 9 o'clock. So it's whatever in the morning. So it's whatever way they want to do it. But the main thing is, if, you, if you're feeding hummingbirds, keep the food coming. Even if it's in the rain, if you don't have a way of sheltering it, it's if you've got the driving wind, you're not going to be able to put a plate on top or anything simple like that. But boy, I mean, I don't know how many inches of rain we got, but they said it could be six to eight inches uh, till this is over, and I don't know when it's going to be over. So it's a marathon here of filling feeders. I'm going to continue to do that. And I have exciting news, very exciting news. 
Well, at least for us, yesterday, an Oriole showed up, a male Oriole. It looked like it was a Bullock's, I'm not sure. Maybe it was a Hooded, but the male showed up. Now, let me tell you something. In all the years I've been feeding him and documenting it, that's over two weeks early. So I'm not sure what that's all about, but maybe in whatever direction they were gonna go to or maybe where they were coming from was not as good as here and they showed up here, they have showed up here. Now they haven't come to any feeders yet, but they were out in the avocado tree down there and we saw them, I saw them twice, so he's been flying around. They don't need a whole lot of food right now. They can go into flowers and they might be darting in here when I don't see them because right now they're just scouting. All they're doing is deciding where they're gonna go and then they'll, you know, they go into flowers and nectars and insects and stuff. They'll go into the gardens and find all their food and then they'll be waiting for the females. The males show up first. So it was exciting to know that the males are here, but that was like a big surprise. They normally show up around March 14th and that's just before spring. And that's when it works out. And then a week, week later, the females show up. So I don't know, you know, if the females are gonna be here soon, if there'll be a whole bunch of males, if it was just an oddball male, but that is a first. See how they love their dots. Now I love them feeding on the dots now because that is, well, as out of the rain as you could be, but as you could probably see, it's just been driving rain. They're calling it a blizzard because it's ice water-like, it's that cold and it's blowing really hard. There's been some little tornadoes in areas that I've heard that's touched down and ripped out three massive trees I saw, not out of the ground, the, the stump was still there. So the trees were watered well, where the roots were holding on to the soil good, but it was the tree snapped in half and they had to cut a lot of those down. Some people lost their roofs. I don't know how long you know this will last for. They're saying it could go into, well, a good amount of it's gonna go into tomorrow, but it could be the whole weekend. So I'll kind of keep you in touch. All is okay. Yeah, it's raining in here and there. We've got our issues like everybody else. Oh, I hear ice. I think it's starting to hail a little bit. So that's it. That's the update. I won't be doing a lot of gardening videos right now outside. Plus, this has been a marathon. To constantly do this, I have to keep the window semi-closed. I don't wanna bother the birds by stepping too close because it's blowing in. It's just been wet everywhere. So, whoa, I can just hear it. It is loud, the wind. So everybody take care if you're in an area because you know I know a lot of you are gonna have this type of weather. Stay warm, stay calm, and if you can, stay dry. And hug your pets and then we'll get through this and before we know it, we're all gonna be gardening and making solar fountains for the birds and I've got exciting stuff coming this year. So with that, have a wonderful, wonderful day and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye.